Hey everybody, it's Katrina from Different Drummer Dance. It is Tuesday, which means that is time for a Teacher Tip Tuesday. So today I'm gonna to be talking about three games that I love to use um, when I'm talking about body parts with kids, teaching isolations, and also um, incorporating the concept of over and under for your young audiences. These are great games to use as a brain break to incorporate into your regular classes or to use um, with upcoming summer dance camps as well. So lots of applications. The extra fun thing about these games is you need a balloon. So you bring out props in a beginning creative movement class and it suddenly becomes the best dance class ever. The kids are all about this game. So the first game I wanna to talk to you about I call, actually I don't really have a super creative name for this game. It's basically just keep the balloon off the ground. But here's the trick, you have to use it with different body parts. So for example, I will have all the kids gather around and I'll say, okay, our job is to keep this balloon from touching the floor, but we can only use our elbows or we can only use our noses. So we're working on isolating different body parts and we use those body parts to try and pass the balloon from friend to friend around the room gently, of course, but you gotta be careful with us with this one. Um, but you're isolating those body parts to pass the balloon around using elbows, knees, fingers, head, whatever, um, pass it around only using those isolated body parts. Second game also has to do with isolating those body parts. This one is a sitting game though. So if you've been running around, you need to bring the energy back in. This is a great one to sit down, have everybody take a collective breath and play a little game of pass the balloon, but again, only using those body parts. So maybe you pass it using only elbows, maybe you use knees or feet, or you use a partner to pass the balloon between your bellies to other partners. So you can do this one in couples as well. And you can also add more body parts as you get more advanced. So as you get more practice with this one, you can try using an elbow and a knee to pass it or crossing the midline somehow. That's another kind of fun variation. Third and final game. We're going to take the balloon and we're going to practice going over and under it. So for this one, each kid gets their own balloon or they can do it in pairs and um, share. But for this one, you want to practice throwing the balloon up and then dancing somehow underneath the balloon before it touches the ground. Same thing when you're going over. So for this one, you might have three people doing this one and two partners pass the balloon from one side to the other and the dancer has to find a way to dance over the balloon without touching it. So there's your three great games using this balloon. I hope you enjoy them. Let me know how they become a part of your dance class if you love them, if you're going to use them and happy dancing. I'll see you next time. Bye.